Hi everyone, thank you for joining us in Santa Barbara, California. This is David and Carol Joy coming at you again this week. I want to share some great thoughts with you. We want to give a shout out, a special thank you to our Patreon crew members yes. for making these videos possible. Thank you. We really appreciate you so much yes. and thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank if you'd love to learn more about Patreon and what we're talking about right now, just follow the links below, get involved and become a crew member today. Hey, we're going to be talking today about peace. We talked a little bit last time about it and I want to make the, the important, um, how should I say, a lot of people talk about faith and I love faith. We have to operate faith. We For sure. We, we please walk by God faith. by faith. Everything we do everything. We, do. we walk in love. But lately the Lord's been dealing with it. There's not enough peace teaching and sharing about the subject of peace. Mm. Peace is so important to our lives as part yes. of our salvation. So that's what we want to share a little bit about today. Over 400 times in the Bible, peace, the word shalom, is mentioned. This is one of the verses we want to talk about today. Isaiah 32 says this in verse 17 and 18, the work of the righteous, that's our work, that's your work, that's will be peace. We're peacemakers, we're peace workers. And the effect of righteousness, the effect of us, is quietness and assurance Forever, verse 18 of Isaiah 32, my people will dwell, live in, a peaceable habitation, ensure dwellings, and quiet resting places. Love this that. word shalom, when they're greeted throughout Israel, this word shalom is a big deal for them. Throughout centuries, it's been a big deal. When people come up to you and they say the word shalom, they are saying, what is your peace today? What is your peace today? Today, where do you Good. have peace today yes. in your life? How is your well-being? And that's such an important thing. I remember earlier um, in my bicycle career, I flew to Ireland. I was in Ireland, which is an island over in the UK area. And um, we were there and there was bombs going off. This is the time when they were warring in, in Belfast, Ireland. There were bombs going off. And I was like, oh my gosh. And we'd hear them pretty close by. When we stayed in a person's house that night, it was very interesting because they said, believe me, and I could tell they were Christians, but I also knew later on that my grandmother was praying for me when I was over there. But it was funny because I don't know why, although I could hear them go off so close, I mean, it was like a block away, I had such a peace on the inside and such a rest on the inside. And I heard three bombs that night. They woke me up, but as soon as they woke me up, I, went, I felt like, okay, that was just one, I'll go back to sleep. So I knew my grandmother was praying for me back then. I wasn't a believer back then. But listen, that's the kind of peace and rest God wants us to have, that protectional peace in our lives when not only we're sleeping, but we're in our households. Our households should be safe places. And as yes. we quote and say the word from the Bible over our lives, it brings life and it really brings assurance to our things in our lives. This place Place of peace okay. and shalom means to be at peace. Shalom means to be at peace. It means to be sound. I don't know about you, but I like to be sound. Yes, for sure. <laughs> it means to be complete. This word shalom means to be complete. I love that about peace. I want to be sound. I want to be complete. When I'm in my house, I want to be sound. I want to know God's with me. Yeah. I want to be complete. Psalms 23, talking about a safe home today and having a safe home today. Psalm 23, 2 says, God makes me lie down in green pastures. God gives me a peaceable house. He leads me beside the still waters. God is always going to have a place of peace for me and rest for me because I want my family to be protected and restful. Psalm 91, we know these I Psalms. I was just thinking about that. Psalm 91, there's so much in the Psalm. The thing that stood out to me, safety in the presence of our God. Yes. When I was first a Christian, I was so changed and so more, I read these, these things in the Bible and I said, I believe them. Yeah. God said he's with me. God says he's in my house. That's right. If God's in my house, no one can come in my house. No weapon formed against me will prosper. Psalm 91 says this in verse 1 and 2 says this. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. We dwell in him. 
That's right. He lives in us, we live in him, the Bible says. Shall abide or will abide under the shadow of the Almighty, that safetyness, that protected place of God yes. is where we live. Verse yes. two, this is our part. We say of the Lord, he is my refuge. He is my fortress. And this is where we say, in him will we trust. We do, we trust in him. No matter what's going on That's in our right. lives, we, well, I sense God's peace, and I'm sure yes. you do right now, because He wants that rest and that peace for us. Amen. Psalm 9111, we love this verse. He shall give His angels charge <laughs> over us. She's going to yes. preach right now. <laughs> I knew. That's what I had on my heart. Angels. Mm. Angels. He gives His angels charge, charge over, over us. To keep us in all of our ways. Uh, we need to know that we have angels guarding round about us especially it, we have to speak it and we have to agree with what the word says yeah and not tie our angels arms or hands yeah. by saying yeah. fearful things saying yeah. negative things we have to say what the word says and it, when we do yeah. and we stand on god's word yeah then we know we got those angels and they're not angels just like cute little baby <laughs> angels. No, they're huge. They're like yes. six to eight yes. feet tall. Yes. I know our angels are with us all the time and we've seen time and time oh again gosh. where they have protected us. Yes, and Hebrews uh, 14, 1.14 says this, are not the angels, this is in the Amplified, this is, I love the Amplified, it amplifies it. It brings out the Hebrew words yes. in a more Bam, <laughs> if I can say bam, bam tone. Yeah. Are not the angels all ministering spirits, servants sent out in the service of God for assistance of those who are inheritance of salvation? Assistance. Yes. They're sent out to assist us. And that means to protect our house and everything about our house. And years ago, I was at my Bible college and I was I, I stayed on the Bible college grounds uh, in their in their housing. And there's just something once I stepped on the property, it was this like tangible peace over the whole property. And so I went to, um, Phil and Angie Davis were the, the couple that was in charge of the property. I went to talk to them one day, and as I went to their office and talked to them, right behind them was this big scripture on the wall. And it's, it's uh, let's see, it's Isaiah 32, 18. It says this, my people will dwell in a peaceable habitation and secure dwellings and in quiet resting places. And as I talked with them, I said, that's the scripture that you probably say over this property all the time. And they say, we believe God's angels and assistants, and we believe it, that we will dwell. We do have a, a peaceable habitations yes. for all of our students. Anyone that comes in this property, there's peace here. Yes. That means everything that's not peace is not allowed on this property. That's good. Yeah. And so we know as they were speaking, peaceable habitation, secure dwellings. I don't know about you, but I'll secure dwellings and quiet resting places. Talking about the subject of peace. Yes. Do you have anything else you want to share? So good. Peace. We we Just we standing on yeah. peace. Yeah. You have to speak it out of your mouth. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you, you've got to be able to say it. So I believe this. You yeah. know, I believe this for my family. I believe this wherever I go. All the hotels we stay in, all the houses we stay in. Yeah. I believe these things are God's word for us so that we can, we can believe it and really kind of like, like the Amplified, amplify what really is on the inside of us and change this thinking, as I always say, to line up. So when we have thoughts, <clears throat> you had to clear your throat, now I gotta clear mine. <clears throat> when we have these thoughts that, you know, this is, no, we know, as soon, like I used to always say when I got on airplanes, this airplane will get to the next destination it's going to because I'm on it. Yes. God is with me. When I'm in this house, <clears throat> God's in charge. My angels are in charge. That's right. My faith's on this house and there is peace in this house, around this house, my cars are protected. We can go off on this on all the different areas of our life. My family's protected. Yes. 
So that's the thoughts we had today on the subject of peace, living in a safe, protected house is so important and God loves you so much. He wanted to share these thoughts with you today. And let's pray for everyone watching yeah. right now. We'll just yeah. use this camera over here. Father God, we just thank you so much yeah. for all the people that are watching. I speak peace into their lives, peace into their homes. Yes. And let's just say this together. Let's say this, say this after me. I dwell, I dwell in a peaceable habitation. In a peaceable habitation. In a secure dwelling. In a secure dwelling. And a quiet resting place. And a quiet resting place. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you. Well, that's all I have today. That's all we're gonna share with you today. Join us again next time. This is David and Carol Joy coming from Santa Barbara. We could be coming from anywhere. We wanna travel. Yes. We wanna take we're you with us. Yeah, we wanna we have fun with God this week. Yes. Rejoice with him this week. Thank you again for joining us this week. Hey, listen, throw some comments down. Subscribe if you're not part of the subscription here on YouTube. Also, look at Patreon. See what it's all about. Join the crew today. Our crow members, our birds are saying hi. So everybody said hi. So again, thank you yes. so much for joining us. We just want to thank say you. goodbye. Yes, in Poland they say dovidzenia. Dovidzenia, ciao, au revoir. You guys have the best week. Yes. And join us again next time. We love you guys and we'll see you again soon.